TikTok girl Mary and welcome back to my channel. Yes guys, binigay ko na ang wish nyo na i-unbox at i-review itong smartphone na to from Samsung. For today's video guys, we will be unboxing the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite. I was very eager na bilhin to 2 weeks ago pa nung nalaman ko na may Note 10 Lite nga. Actually, a month ago pa. Pero, I think Samsung secretly released the Note 10 Lite nung February 14 para hindi masyadong Alam niyo na maapektuhan yung pre-order ng mga bagong Samsung Galaxy S20 series and yung flip. So, this is the Note 10 Lite. And kamukha-kamukha niya yung packaging ng Note 10 series, yung ating flagship version. So, the one that I got guys is the Aura Glow. Kinuha ko to kasi syempre mas kamukha niya yung Note 10 Plus. And Aura Glow din yung color ng Note 10 Plus na in-unbox natin the last time para terno. Available din siya in Aura Red and Aura Black. Actually, Aura Red yata yung ni-review ni Carlo. Nakita ko yun sa kanya. Napakaganda rin naman ng color pero mas na-attract ko kay Aura Glow. We have the warranty card, quick start guide, and lastly, a free jelly case. Ayan guys, ito na yung ating Note 10 Lite in Aura Glow. Ayan siya guys, may plastic siya dito sa likod. Sa harap, wala. Pero may nakalagay na screen protector. And then, may mga plastics din siya on the side. Meron tayong 25 watt fast charger. Take note, this one has the USB-C port. And we have here guys, the earphones. Headphone jack! So, good news! Naka-headphone... I mean, meron headphone jack si Note 10 Lite. And actually guys, medyo mas premium looking itong earphones na kasama sa Note 10 Lite kung i-compare natin sa Samsung Galaxy A71. Meron din tayong USB-C to USB-C cable. And then guys, meron pa tayo itong mga, alam nyo yun, mga tools that you need for the S Pen. I miss doing this, guys. Okay, so this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite. And nakita nyo naman sa title, it says 24 hours review. Bakit? I just bought this device kahapon. And it's the next day, so parang halos 24 hours ko lang nagamit yung smartphone. So it's more of a first impressions or my initial review. Itong Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite, yes guys, meron siyang S Pen functionality. But this is if you have a lower budget. We all know naman guys na ang presyo ng mga flagship na Note 10 series is around 60,000, 50,000. And this one, kalahati nun yung presyo. This actually retails for 29,990. Which is, I know, medyo mas pricier ng around 7,000 kung i-compare natin kay A71. So, sasagutin ko rin yan kung ano nga ba yung medyo, alam na, konting difference nila at the end. And if you really should get yourself the newest Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite. Unang-una agad, natin mapapansan yung napakaganda niyang kulay. It has the Aura Glow. And again, same halos sa Note 10 Plus or sa Note 10 series. But, medyo mas lesser lang yung rainbow effect na tong Note 10 Lite. Medyo mas extreme yung sa Note 10 Plus. Another difference, mid-range build. This one guys, auto mukha siyang glass. Kaya nga siya tinawag na plastic. Ginamit sa kanya is plastic and less boxy yung kanyang design or shape. Kung mapapansin niyo yung Note 10 Plus, medyo mas malala yung edges niya. With this one, medyo curved talaga siya. And although premium looking siya, once you hold it, ramdam mo na mid-range device yung hawak mo. With the Note 10 series, guys, para rectangular na manipest yung kanyang camera shape. With this one, para rectangular pa rin naman, pero mas malapad na siya. But same triple camera setup, walang dinagdag na kahit ano for the extra macro lens or whatsoever. Same, tatlo pa rin. Okay, so at the right part of the phone, meron tayong volume rocker and the power and lock button. And on the lower part, ito siguro good news to para sa inyo. We have the headphone jack, USB-C port, microphone, speaker grill, and of course, yung ating S Pen. Which is also, alam ko, confusing para sa inyo. Bakit? The Note 10, wala siyang headphone jack. Pero yung Note 10 Lite, guys, may headphone jack. And then another trivia, ang S10 po may headphone jack. But yung S10 Lite na i-release pa lang din dito sa atin sa Philippines, doesn't have a headphone jack. I'm not sure guys what Samsung is trying to do here. Siguro, they are giving more choices sa mga consumers. Kapag ikaw yung tipo ng tao na hindi mo afford bumili ng wireless earphones like yung kanilang product na Galaxy Buds, then dun ka sa phone nila na may headphone jack. Anyway, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite, it has 6.7 inches 
Infinity O Super AMOLED Display. Una ko agad na napansin at sobrang natuwa ako aside from the headphone jack. This one, meron na siyang flat display guys unlike the Note 10 series na curved. Good news and medyo dagdag pogi points for this Note 10 Lite. Dahil some consumers, reason ko ba't nila binili yung mga Note 10 series dahil although alam niyo na they prefer the S Pen, they don't like na meron siyang curved display. Ako rin guys, natuwa ako na may flat display na siya dahil mas prefer ko gamitin yung S Pen sa flat kaysa sa curved. Wala siyang 120Hz screen refresh rate. It's just the ordinary or regular 60Hz screen refresh rate. And wala rin siyang kahit na nung IP rating. Ito pa guys, alam nyo ba, itong punch hole na ginamit kay Note 10 Lite is actually mas maliit compared doon sa flagship na Note 10 series. So, hindi siya ganun ka-intruding or hindi siya ganun na masakit sa mata dahil ang laki-laki ng bilog niya sa gitna. So, perfect lang. Meron tayong dalawang ways to unlock the device. Fingerprint sensor and the face unlock. Sa Note 10 series guys, ultrasonic fingerprint sensor yung ginamit. While with this one, optical fingerprint sensor naman. Which is why guys, mapapansin nyo medyo hindi siya ganun kabilis compared to the Note 10 series. Pero it works well but I prefer using the face unlock kasi mas mabilis talaga siya. And kung makikita nyo naman sa B-roll, as in one snap, one pintot lang, mag-open na yung device nyo. The S Pen. Anong difference niya sa Note 10 series? Honestly, wala. Halos same functionality. And probably guys, this is what makes or what separates the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite from the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 series. So kung gusto niyo na mala, alam niyo yun, Harry Potter effect na parang wind wave mo yung wand mo at gusto niyo at gusto niyo ng gyro sensor feature sa inyong S Pen, then this device is not for you. Meron din siyang wireless Bluetooth connectivity, guys, wherein pwede niyong gamitin siya as a remote control, like for example, sa camera, sa music niyo. Actually, guys, alam niyo rin ba na itong Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite is mas mabigat kaysa sa Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This one weighs 199 grams and then yung Note 10 Plus naman is 196 grams. So, hindi mo siya na nagkakalayo but yes, mas mabigat po ito. And sa tingin ko guys, ang reason kung bakit mas mabigat itong light kaysa sa Note 10 Plus, eh mas malaki yung battery capacity niya. Meron siyang 4,500 mAh battery capacity, while yung Note 10 Plus na flagship guys is 4,000 200 mAh battery capacity lang. Same chipset as the Note 9 guys. Ito yung 2018 flagship natin. It has the Exynos 9810 octa-core processor with 8GB of RAM with 128GB of internal storage. Sadly guys, base variant 128GB lang. Don't worry guys, expandable naman siya up to 1TB. Transition and multitasking guys is smooth. Wala akong naging problema even when it comes to gaming. Out of the box guys, it has the latest one UI 2.0 based on Android 10. In terms of camera guys, we have 12 megapixels for the main camera. With OIS, we have 12 megapixels telephoto, 12 megapixels ultra wide sensor. And then lastly, for our front camera, meron tayong 32 megapixels. Actually guys, yung mga photos na pinunodos nitong Note 10 Lite, medyo comparable and similar talaga siya with the Note 10 Plus when it comes to details, colors, dynamic range. But, may something talaga guys yung photos ni Note 10 Plus yung ating flagship kung i-compare natin siya sa Note 10 Lite. At kung ako tatanungin nyo, mas nagustuhan ko yung photos ni Note 10 Lite. Pero nung tinanong ko naman si Jason, since we are both reviewing the smartphones, mas nagustuhan naman daw niya yung photos ni A71. Well, may kanya-kanya naman tayong opinion at mata. So, iba-iba tayo ng preference. In terms of video guys, there is an OIS even at 4K at 60 frames per second. And meron din siyang super steady, mas wider yung field of view niya and better yung stabilization. For my early verdict after 24 hours, yes, hinatulan agad si Note 10 Lite. Actually, I'm not that impressed kasi almost like it gives me the same features that the Note 10 flagship is giving me. Pero again, this has no IP rating, no wireless charging, no 90Hz screen refresh rate. So definitely, it's not meant for a power user. Kung medyo alam nyo na extreme yung ginagawa nyo sa buhay. Dahil mas kailangan nyo to sa profession nyo, sa ginagawa nyo sa school. Kung artist ka or whatsoever, 
then go for this one. It's half the price, definitely. You'll save more. I prefer than the design. It's very 2020. Actually, it's like the Samsung Galaxy A71 with an S Pen nga lang. So that is it guys for our unboxing and review after 24 hours for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite. Again, it's your tech girl Mary and see you on my next video. Abangan ang ating A51 unboxing and review. Bye!